there is a few more very sophisticated utilities okay so let's try to explore with the help of this motorbike let's say we want to extract the entire plane two dimensional surface okay and over that we want to look at its uh, streamlined plots or maybe contour plots or let's say we want to extract the streamlines uh, while the simulation is going on okay so there is a two way you can extract the streamline or two type of the streamline one is called limiting streamline on the that is warp over entire solid object or solid body that or you can look at the flow streamline okay that is uh, passing through any of the obstacle and like that way okay so let's explore with the help of this motorbike that class of uh, particular test case so this is i am again adapting from the distributed version of uh, or open form let's go to that place look at the readme file okay so here we try to construct the mesh with the help of the snappy hack so we're not going to explore how it's going to work here okay but we are utilizing a certain facility with the help of this particular test case so that is the idea behind that okay so let's first start the test case very quickly because it's going to take a time then we look at different different uh, utilities so this is surface extractions okay so this is surface extraction for snappy hex to extract or create a very nice mesh for snappy hex first we want to construct the block mesh and over the block mesh we're going to construct the snappy hex so it may take some time and meanwhile it's creating the mesh let me show you quickly uh, different different things with this so system folder we are going to uh, utilize few things so go to the control dict file and in the control dict we have a read fields okay so read field that means there is this options you can read the field okay as a object if required okay then we have a streamline so we going to construct the streamline for that we construct the one line okay so streamline is a very very sophisticated way to plot the uh, different different uh, sorry with the help of the streamline you can look at how the flow is developing around any of the object for that we have a type streamline outlook output control this is output type is the vtk with what you want to construct the streamline that is the u field okay then uh, this is track forward and backward true or false okay field we are specifying then lifetime is the um, 10,000 okay then number of cycles with the help of that you control the length of the streamline okay then cloud is the particle tracking okay and we going to uh, specify this particle with the help of this seed sample as a uniform okay and uh, there is a multiple way like cloud uh, tri surface point sets but we going to work with the uniform seeding uh, along the um, x axis is the distance okay and uh, this is its point okay so with the help of that and number of the points because it is uniform so this is the seeding location through which we going to uh, start the streamlines okay so this is one thing we're going to explore here along with that we have a wall bounded streamline so this is wall bounded streamline so uh, for that also we have a this field u and near field and what is the wall group name it is the motorbike group is the wall name over which we're going to specify or we want to construct the streamline on this walls okay so uh, motorbike group wall then distance from the wall okay at the max then output is something like vtk format okay then all this thing is same then we specifying certain seeding of the streamlines okay with the help of the certain clouds distance and all these things okay so patch we specifying okay motorbike is the patch and over that particular patch we require 20,000 points to seed the streamline okay so this is how you can specify the streamline with the help of the this entire uh, stream uh, wall bounded streamline dict file okay what else we have here we specifying the cutting planes okay so what it going to do uh, it let me first open so cutting plane give you the two dimensional post processing on any of the plane okay 
so on that plane let's say we are interested to look at the uh, streamline plots and all these things or contour plots so for that we say okay we want the uh, surface type is the streamline lib is the sampling only the same lib what we use for the line sampling output control vtk format field is unp interpolation cell point okay cutting plane point and normal so we specify base point and the normal to that base pay that means y with that we can construct the entire plane okay so when we look at the simulation you come to know how exactly this cutting plane is look like okay still our grid generation is going on okay so this is few things you um, we can explore with the help of this particular um, uh, sophisticated cutting plane uh, type of the things so uh, let's wait for a couple of few more uh, minutes till it's our grid generation is over mesh is ready so first let's check the mesh in the para form So here we are going to look at the mesh for a motorbike case and uh, this is our motorbike with the person riding the motorbike okay. So that is how you can see and flow over a motorbike uh, we want to simulate this is the inflow plane and this one is the outflow plane okay and flow is going uh, from positive x to negative x directions okay. So this is very nice mesh we created with the help of the snappy hex. So let's simulate this case because it's going to take a very long time so let's first copy the required files okay fine now uh, this is page summary it give you the summary of the uh, all the pages okay so how all the boundary condition everything it's fine then let's run the first the potential form okay so we initializing the test case first okay so we initialize it very nicely then let's run with the simple form calculator okay let it start okay so it's going to take time let uh, quickly check uh, what is the backup frequency we gave because when we get the first backup we try to explore okay so we gave first backup at a uh, time stack equal to 50 okay. so let's wait till our simulation reach time step equal to 50 then we look at the post processing okay. so we have a backup file up to 50 okay so let's first go to the backup folder and explore what additional thing we observe so here we don't observe any much difference but all the cutting plane everything goes is a post processing so go here okay and the sets you will see the streamline and wall bounded streamline okay cutting planes you can see in in the cutting plane area so let's first open the open para form okay and then explore these things okay so para form is here okay now uh, we want to see that all the cutting plane everything so for that open the files go to post processing cutting plane this is the vtk we are interested in let's say u switch of this so this is the plane what we constructed it is called cutting plane and over this cutting plane we try to look at the u component wise okay magnitude wise everything so this is how you can do the post processing while the simulation is going on okay and we need not to mm, worry too much about uh, uh, simulation part okay and uh, this is very very handy way to look at the post processing okay uh, we uh, need not to even load entire uh, test case okay without even loading this also used uh, only open the para view okay and then you quickly go to the area from where you can ex uh, explore the these things okay let's say on this now we want to look at the streamlines how it's developing okay so let's go to the streamline area okay we have a high resolution uh, 
okay so let's uh, put this streamline little bit ahead okay, so let's say minus one or so okay so this is how one can quickly check the streamline how it is uh, warping over the uh, particular uh, our test case okay so let uh, let me show you quickly the vector plot okay so vector uh, we have to scale that vector okay scaling through the vector and let's reduce the size let's go with component wise okay that is fine okay so this is the vector but we required till lower size okay let's go with off okay so this is better and here so this is how the vector is look like okay but let's slowly increase the size okay so you you see at the back side you can mm, see the mm, wake zone development okay but when we go towards uh, let's say another file okay it give you the better entire idea okay, so over this let's again explore the mm, vector plot okay and vector is color with let's say scalar mode fine okay on this we require the coloring pattern and over this we required also color now let's scale the vector properly okay so let's scaling is off put it something like two okay so slowly be able to fix this okay fine. off okay fine so let's keep it something like five too heavy so look this how much you going to uh, keep as a vector that all come from the uh, experience as well as as your velocity is changing everything going to change okay so but idea is that on this particular plane you can do the certain post processing while the simulation is going on okay so this is a very very handy way to look at this cut plane or cutting plane okay now let's explore a few more thing here let's open the streamlines okay so sets and streamlines let's we look at how the streamline is look like so look this is the streamline and on the background you can open the this thing okay and look at from the particular view okay so this is how the streamline but please understand streamline is little bit we construct it away from that particular plane okay so that's why it seems that it is passing through uh, that particular uh, uh, motorbike rider okay but it is away from the locations okay so like this way it is not exactly on the same plane please understand that okay okay positive okay. so this is mm, streamline and we also uh, gave another very nice streamline that is called wall bounded streamline so let's look at how it look like so wall bounded streamlines and this is how the wall bounded streamline going to look like okay so oh, this is the streamline and we're going to color it with the help of magnitude of u okay so this is the streamline okay it is called wall bounded streamline how exactly the streamline is attached with the wall okay so 
that is how you can see the wall bounded streamline So this is this is the vector field over it and this is the streamline over it okay how exactly the streamline wall bounded streamline is passing through this particular motorbike okay you can do the certain post processing with the help of this very sophisticated uh, co-processing utility i say so this is a very very nice way to do the post processing uh, with the help of this uh, very nice utility okay so try to explore this okay it give you the sometime it is a very very uh, handy tools okay you need not to um, go for uh, very large post processing so normally uh, how it work is something like this way if you are working with a very large size domain okay then it is not uh, always wise to open entire domain and do the post processing then this cut plane and all this thing is a very very handy way to reduce the burden on the post processing side okay and very quickly one can uh, do the post processing okay so that is how one can do the post processing very quickly okay